Hello, ocean people. Welcome back to Brent Durand Underwater. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We've got a blog or a video blog or a vlog, whatever we're calling it these days on YouTube and social media, but we're changing it up. We're gonna mix it up. I wanna take you guys diving with me to see where I'm diving, the dive sites, what I look for when I'm exploring dive sites, trying to figure out where to dive, and of course, how to prepare from scuba gear to camera gear for getting the shots that I want to get, both photo and video. So hopefully it's gonna be fun. Hopefully it will be exciting. You guys will tag along and check out this new series and wanna see a lot more of it. So I'm in Sonoma County, California. It was pretty brisk today. Drove through a valley, it was about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's about 38 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've been looking at the water a little bit here and it looks pretty calm. There's no wind, which is great. There's a little more ground swell than I'd like, which means a lot of surge underwater pulling you back and forth. I think with some of these sets coming in, it could pull you back and forth, maybe five, six feet, like two meters. Could be a lot kind of sloppy for shooting photo and video. So I think what we're gonna do is go down the coast somewhere a little more sheltered. So let's go do that. Let's see if we find a better dive site. Yeah. So here we are, we're further up the coast and I think we got good conditions. We got away from that, uh, from that ground swell. There's a touch of wind just starting, but that's okay. Um, but look down here, the water's pretty clear. So we know we'll have decent visibility. There's also a wash rock a ways out there that I can see a little bit underwater. So that's also an indicator of visibility. It means there's no surface bloom or anything that I can see from here, which is great. So I'm excited to get in the water. It's warmed up a bit, the sun's higher in the sky. We don't want the day to get away from us. So let's check out the entry point. Okay, so here we are. Found a nice place to enter the water. It's actually a creek runoff that helps get down from cliff level to beach level. And it's got a nice little trail. There are a few obstacles to navigate over on that trail to get down here, but for the most part, it's okay. What I'll probably do is bring my gear down tank at once, then I'll bring the camera down, and then I'll just come down in my dry suit with weight versus trying to carry all that stuff all together. It's probably too much for some of those obstacles. The other thing I always do is pre-scout my entry and exit and even have a couple of exit points in case the wind or the surf or swell comes up too much. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm checking it out. I know that we've got these big cobbles here and that the tide is dropping. So the rocks will get more slippery and more exposed as that tide drops, but I don't see any big problem here. Should be fine for me. A little bit of a sporty entry to use terminology for Monterey, but I'm excited. So I think it's that time. Let's gear up, let's bring the gear down and let's get in the water and see some underwater footage. Oh, that water feels so good. <laughs>
Dots on the dot. Fun, fun dive. Lots of lingcods just coming up and saying hi. As soon as I get the lights positioned, they just went away. All right, let's get out and circle back. So that's it. Another nice, fun dive in the books. I was not expecting to see that shipwreck, so that was a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to research it once I get home later tonight, but my guess would be mid-1850s, one of the schooners bringing wood down to the San Francisco area from the Pacific Northwest, kind of tucking in here out of the weather or something and did not see some of those big wash rocks and those big towering pinnacles we saw. But I'll look that up afterwards, probably leave notes in the comments or in the description, so check that out later. And that's pretty much it. Water was about 51 degrees Fahrenheit, so not too cold, also not too warm, but it was nice and pleasant. Uh, nice, easy entry exit, no problems there. And uh, looking forward to getting in the water again, taking you guys on the next dive. So stay tuned, we've got some big adventures planned.